Oh, hang on. Let's go back in time. I'm sick like this. Yeah, I know. No. You're watching Two Brains React. This brain's Lib. And this brain's Marlon. And today we've got the sequel, number two. It's kind of, it's hazy what it's, this actually is. It's two is. albums in one. It's two <laughs> different I, things in one. So it's the deluxe version of Eternal Take, which we reacted to last weekend. Yes. But it's also Lil Uzi Vert versus The World 2. Which is a fire mixtape. Which is his is it his first mixtape? No, no, it's like it's already. It was like his second or his third, but it's the one that properly blew him up because it had money right. longer, and you was right on there. Right. I don't think I've heard this mixtape. You haven't heard Lil Uzi Vert? I don't think the so because I think all I've listened to is like the more recent albums. Well, that was right. Well, he's only had one album before Ten I Take. Oh, what about? Because before Love Is Rage Two, it was yeah. just his mixtapes. Oh, I see. Yeah, so yeah. maybe I haven't even yeah. heard that then. Yeah, uh, it's very good. Uh, the first. Okay. Um, Uzi Vert versus the world. Cool. But in what way is this a uh, sequel? I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, what are the themes of that mixtape that he would continue? The themes was that it was fire. So, <laughs> so I can remember. Useful. Thanks, man. Uh, okay, so we don't know what we're getting, but we it's know that whole, we're getting... It's a whole new album. It's a whole new it's album. 14 it's 14 songs. 14 songs. A lot of features. Yeah. Like, we didn't... We only had one feature on Eternal yeah. Take, so... Uh, what is this cover to it's, do with the first? So if you have one? a look at the go, if you have a look at the cover of the, mm-hmm. the first one, yeah, it's it's a variation on the on the original right, cover. Right, so it's a variation. Yeah, yeah. But it's like this one's in space. Yeah, so it's basic and shit. Okay, yeah, so, so it's I'm two in one basically. Very intrigued about yeah. what we're gonna get. I feel like I've only just recovered from last weekend listening to Uzi. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And now we've got a it's whole other intense, album yeah. to go through, but, but I internal take was pretty fucking good. So yeah. And this has got some fire features, so... Okay, so the first one is called Myron. Myron? Myron? I don't know how to Myron. It's like an old person's name. I've never heard that name. You've never heard that name? I've heard the that name might be Byron. Really his, uh, grandparent's name or something. Okay. Oogie yo. Oh. Oogie Main. Produces tune. Oh, okay. Produced from what? Uh, he pro- he Oogie Main produced um um he produces for Matt Ox. I don't know who that Matt is. Matt Ox is like a he's like fifteen now, but he blew up when he was like twelve. Fire. What? Yeah, no, I swear, I swear that he was on the he was on X's album as well. He's sick. But anyway, okay. Oogie Main's a sick producer. <laughs> Stay so fresh, so clean, think they like me, like me. I went more supreme than a hype bitch. Made her get down on the bottom and she tied me. Let's go. Pull up extra icy on oh, her. He's really obsessed with like girls topping yeah, him. Yeah, but it's the way he said made her get down on her bottom, made her top me. <laughs> top me? It's just very strange. Normally guys say like, ride me, right? No, top me. I think to give someone top. Oh, you know I'm not very good with the head slide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Cause I go fuck your bitch and fuck your mom and auntie. Yeah. I've your heard, I've heard that this is a snippet. I know there's been hella snippets of it. I've oh, heard, really? Yeah. So maybe you've heard like every single nah, song is a snippet. I haven't heard any of the features, the features, but right, okay. this one, yeah. Okay. When I fuck her from the front, it sound like that bitch dying. PVS, I need a vest. I stand on my money, then my height will turn to nine ten. He's obsessed with that. That's like the third time he's talking about standing on his money to he make it wasn't taller. The, he wasn't the first one to do it, though, was uh, he? He was. Oh, was he? Yeah. But he, then he's running with it. He's running with he's it. He's running with it. Your bitch call me Myron. Stay so oh, so bitch called me Myron. I, don't, I still don't know what Myron is. Maybe it's a reference to something. I don't know. Don't know. Educate me. I can tell you it's the real spill. Yeah. I'm com- sorry, but this beat is not like... It's the most basic beat ever. It's quite simple, yeah. But his flow. You got you were very yeah. excited about the producer, but this beat is not. No, this beat's not this beat's not, not his best beat, but mm-hmm. you know, Uzi's flow is what's making it. Come on, baby, let's have sex and have a rich baby. She said I thought you were but when I dropped this song, I know they'll get excited. Yeah. She was homie girl. <laughs> I just ran up on my pants. I just ran up on my pants. Sounds like I just ran up, <laughs> I just ran up on my pants. It just sounds like he's just smoked a blunt like, yeah. like two minutes ago. Niggas think I'm weird and they don't really like me. Alrighty. His flow was on point. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we're if we're going with the, the theory, so if you haven't watched the Eternal Take video, 
watch that. Uh, I'll put a link there. But um, in that video, <laughs> in that video, we speculated. Marlon thought that Uzi is being because obviously there's a narrative of him yeah. being abducted, and then we thought maybe he'd been replaced with like an alien posing as Uzi. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So after, is it the double that's I, brought I, out this? I don't know because again, in the, in I was uh, spitballing, mm-hmm. but um, after that, it I, made sense. I, it made sense to me at the time, <laughs> but um, I saw Uzi, after we listened to the album, I saw uh-huh. what Uzi had tweeted, and he uh-huh. had tweeted like he had three distinct personalities oh. on the album oh, that were broken up. That's why the three sections were so mm. different. Right. Yeah. Like the first section was just like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then the second and section was all like floaty, yeah. and then the third section was like classic Uzi. Yeah. So like he had like three personas, but I I still okay. wasn't sure exactly how it weaved into the mm. narrative. But that's what that's the word from Uzi himself. Right. Okay. Yeah. So. But it's interesting isn't it, that he the P two on Eternal Take was like a revisiting of mm. an old song, and mm. effectively that's what this is, right? Like a exactly a revisiting of a whole album. Yeah, or mixtape or whatever. Yeah. We'll work it out so eventually. Interesting. So this is Lotus. Lotus. Oh, just... oh, he's back again. Bro, got the night, I got the phone talk. <laughs> you fucking scared me. <laughs> I just came with the Bro Because <laughs> we were getting really relaxed. Yeah, with but that I said, little... Bro! <laughs> I pull up in a lamb, it's not a load us. I see my arms again, I got a load. This I pull up in a lamb, not a load us. And a lamb. Lamb, as in lambo. Yeah. But not a lotus. Do people drive lotuses? lotuses I haven't anymore? seen a lotus. For, that's why lotus is English. I used to be in a lotus like when I played like racing games. Yeah, like, like a PC little yellow racing one. racing games. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't like seen haven't one seen in real life. I'm pretty sure lotus is British. Oh, maybe, maybe. I'm pretty sure. My pants they so tight, don't know if they for her or him. Neither's one my star. Huh? My pants, they so tight, I don't know if they for her or for him. Oh, I see. Doesn't, uh, doesn't matter if it's women's section or not. Mm-hmm. I if bet it's Uzi, drip, if it's drip. Uzi definitely shops in the women's section, 100%. What, well, like thug? Yeah. If it's drip, it's drip. Exactly. Go to shock some bitches, put up our way to my shit. Oh, so that was interesting flow because it was kind of yeah. like he was a head. Yeah. I'm from outer space, top of my race, so sort He said he's from outer space. Yeah, he's from the other earth. <laughs> he's the double. <laughs> Alrighty. I can see why this is Little Uzi Vert vs. the World 2 because the kind of beats that he's selecting. Mm. Right. Uh, they're still distinct from Eternal Take. Right. Where yeah. they're like they're they're a bit more like simple, straight to the mm. point kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is called Bean in brackets, Kobe. Featuring Chief Keef. Chief Keef. That's uh. Because Chief Keef made Chrome Heart Tags, Chrome Heart which tags. is amazing. So that song's amazing. He just stayed around. You yeah, know? he did. Yeah. Just stayed around in the studio, <laughs> spit some bars. So Bean Kobe featuring Chief Keef. In my trip cup, that's two times two. Ooh, worry about a hater that don't know me. He say that he... beat is like... Um, Maybe Chief Keef produced this one as well. Mean. Yeah, probably. But it's very low, low key. Mm. And Lo-fi? No, just low. Just low in the mix? No, like... The volume low. is low. <laughs> no, the pitch is low. <laughs> Everything is low. Say my name three times like I'm Tony. Damn it, VVS, I believe it. Say my name three times like I'm Tony. Because that's like, um, what is it called? Candyman? Candyman? Is it the Candyman? Candyman. They're remaking, Bloody they're Mary. making a film, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Candyman. And Bloody Say Mary. Say me three times in the... Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary? Yeah. Bloody Mary, Bloody <laughs> Mary, Bloody Mary. Like Candyman. But who the fuck's that? Tony? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Before I had these meals, I was also lonely. Ready, ready, feeling heavy. Before I had these mills, I was oh so lonely. Again, he's calling back to mm. the theme of Exo Tour Life. Right. Okay. My friends are money or my friends are dead. Right, yeah. Ten bears, what you say? Oh, ten bears. You okay? You were so 
so shocked. Yeah, because there was like eleven people there. The bitch staring at me, got real big titties. What's in my jeans? Why? Them real big fifties. The bitch staring at me, got real big titties. That's the way he said it. Because normally it's like Americans say titties. Titties. He said big titties. Titties. <laughs> so weird. In my triple cup, that's two times two. Man, this shit, darling, world time so. Do you know what I? Do you know what I always find crazy? How. It seems like Chief Keef has been around forever. Mm. Like he's been around for like eight, nine, nine years, mm. and he's he's younger than Uzi. Is he? Yeah. How how old is Uzi? Uzi's twenty five. Oh. He's such an old soul. What Uzi? Yeah. But Chief Chief Keef is put this. When Hang Chief, on, Chief Keef is younger than twenty five. Chief Keef, I think he's born in nineteen ninety five, which would make him twenty four, twenty five this year. Are you serious? Yeah, and put it this Chief Keef was on. No, I actually don't believe you. <laughs> fact check it. Fact check. When Chief Keef was on Jesus, when he was like, I hold my liquor, but mm. this bitch can't handle me, that was what, 2013? So he was like 18 and he was on Jesus. No, that can't be true. That is fact. <laughs> fact check it right now, please, to resolve this. 24. 24. 24, yeah. Which means he was making waves when he was like 17. He looks old as yeah. shit. Look at him. But think about... How is that guy 24? Think about how long I Don't Like has been out. Yeah. That's been out from when I was still in fucking secondary That's school. That's mad. Yeah. These rappers are making me feel so old. But he... I just don't... Under, he's become so influential. Yeah. And he's not even like in his mid-20s yet. It's and crazy. Good on him. Who's he's trying his best to get this stuff in the head? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he did this on a channel of take as what? well. I just repeat. I'm the a same nigga, yeah, bitch. Thing. Wanna, I'm a nigga when you're a good pop. It was, was the not, other one. Well, Balenci, Balenci, Then they was like, um, spend three hundred on a. What car was it? I can't remember. I forgot. A, I forgot. It was a type of car. Oh, hang on. We're going back in time. Oh, I'm sick like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that reverse bit was definitely the only interesting part of the <laughs> it song. It was a bit repetitive. I loved, I liked Chief Keef's uh, feature, but Uzi, Uzi's no, chorus was a bit boring. Uzi's chorus was a bit was a bit repetitive for yeah, me. Yeah, that song was too boring. But I like the reverse bit. Yeah, I think the reverse beats just sound good, don't they? What like um, Love Scott. vibrate, vibrate higher. What are you talking about? Under three thousand. Oh, well, yeah. I was saying Love Scott. Oh, that's the reverse beat. This is called Yes Sir Ski. 2121. 21. It's 21 Savage. The most successful British rapper of all time. Yes Sir Ski. <laughs> yes Sir Ski. I can't believe you just said that. He's from, is he, he's from, he's East local London, to here. Yeah, yeah. He's from East London. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't, he's not proud of it, so therefore. He's from Playstow. He's from a district line. Nah, we don't, we don't accept him because he's not proud of us. <laughs> I accept so. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yes Sir Ski. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, work, work with... Work with what? Uzi. I'm pretty sure they have before. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure... I can't remember. I get confused. <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Stop talking! I don't know! <laughs> whole lot of rubber ass nigga fuck a rubber ass nigga whole book at me. You say fuck a rogue rat I don't... Ho. <laughs> what? I don't know if he said that. That's funny if he did. I'm gonna put it on chin when I burst. Bitch and man, bitch, yes, sir, ski. I'm only trying to kiss that bitch. I put it on her chin when I burst. <laughs> so at first, he's nutted on her cheek. He's nutted on her chin. Yeah, he's obsessed he's with He's obsessed that. with nutting on girls' faces. <laughs> Fuck nigga came in his house. I ain't panic, no, I ain't hot. I ain't know the bitch was your brother. I know they stomachs all hurt. Dick too deep, her stomach hurt. It's like he's rapping around the beat. Do you know what I mean? Like the beat comes in and then he it's ever so slightly he come he, he's coming in later. <laughs> did you not hear what he was saying? What did, no, what did he say? Sorry. No, nothing. <laughs> you got engaged, but she still you know wanna slurp. What this reminds, you know this reminds me of? It reminds me of Fuck Love. What? Trippy. It's like Trippy's biggest song with, with the song he made with X. Oh, okay. The beat is very, very similar. I mean, Pierre made that. No, he didn't. Are you sure? Fuck Love. No, that wasn't him. It wasn't him. I don't know. That wasn't him. How do you know? They do like everything together. X. Pierre. No. 
Trippy and Pierre. Oh, it's, it's, it's an X song. It's an X song. Oh, okay. Yeah. You didn't explain that very well. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. That's so boring. Uh, I find it, it, wasn't best, it wasn't the so best. It wasn't the best from either of them. No. Okay. I really just hope it gets a bit interesting. Because yeah. if it stays like this the whole time, I'm going to fall asleep. So this is called What's Up? Featuring Future. What's up? 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 That's so catchy. Well, what's up? What's up? That is catchy. Yeah, the end one as well. Don't do with the lies and the fraud. How the hell is Future gonna fit on this? I have no idea. Literally, I got, I can't even imagine it. Do you think point. he's gonna try and do the same hook as being like, "What's up"? <laughs> it's like a Future impression. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody know I come from outer space. I got racks with me, you do not want to race. Keep that semi on me, get you out my way. Doing his daddy daddy dad voice. Yeah, daddy daddy dad. Slap a bean up. He's kind of just doing the exact same flow as Uzi. He's doing the same flow, yeah. Yeah, it just sounds like Uzi was aged a bit. Younger, aged down. And smoked a lot more. <laughs> Younger? You're not hearing how high pitched he is. My future's old. I know future's <laughs> old, but I'm saying how high pitched he sounds now. If you wanna catch up, me like ten of me. Okay. Ooh, do you hear this? Ooh, this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a good one. Gonna be a good one. Strawberry peels thug featuring and Young Thug and Gunner. Fingers crossed. Should be good. It, it should be. Should be good. If not, we'll be very disappointed. Spain. It's not even two minutes. You got three on there and it's not even two minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it better be good then. It's so good. It's, yeah, it's good, but... <laughs> He's really on no, the I'm just, no, shit. I'm just thinking, how the fuck is Gunna going to fit on He's this? He's just going to come on and go, come on. No, but Gunna has, Gunna has a specific kind of beats that he works yeah. on. Yeah. This is not a Gunna beat. In the, I mean, in the slightest, this is not a Gunna beat. No, but... it's. I mean, it's it's mostly thug, isn't it? Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> I was vibing with it so hard before that. Stand on my money like my name should kill. Construction marin and right through these drills. Strawberry peels, strawberry peels, strawberry peels, strawberry peels. Okay, that was more like it. Mm. You didn't like was that? It? It but was... for me, Young Thug was here, Gunna was here, and then Uzi was here. I don't think it was any of them at their best, in my opinion. I mean, no, no, but Gunna was doing something a bit different, though, which is nice to hear. Was he? And like a little bit. I appreciate the fact that they're, like going on this kind of beat is something very different. Yeah. Maybe not because th Thug's always on like strange fucking beats, yeah. but for Gunna and Uzi, it is, is kind of different. But, you know, experiment doesn't always work out. Oh. It was okay. Oh, I, th I dug that. Because I, I thought the beat was really cool. I really liked it. Yeah, I the thought, beat was and good. And I thought Thug went hard. The beat was good, but the beat go off. Okay, well, it woke me up, which is nice. I'm hoping that I will stay awake from now. This one is called I, I Can, can show, show You. you. I might move like a cobra, but I'm far from a snake. Took my rib on a vacay. Now she woke up and she orange. Uh, yeah, I can tell. Hey, hey, none of these bitches I chase. Okay, I got me a goddy. Just in case you try to risk. Hey, okay, I know about somebody. He's just not really on beat, is he? On this song? Mm. <laughs> All of this album. <laughs> oh, that was pretty short as well. That was very short. Yeah. No, but I appreciate if it's a song like that. Yeah. I appreciate it being shorter. Yeah. Like the other ones were too mm. long. The beginning ones. Moon relate. Moon relate. Moon relate. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
What? This is crazy. The beat. It's so syncopated. That's what's been happening all over the album. I mean, no, but like, it was very strongly syncopated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is like a bit like a marching band thing, isn't yeah. it? Like, obviously, the guy at the front doing this. Oh, that was really unexpected. Driving in the lamps, swerving round the bowels. They talk about potholes on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> like craters. Craters. Yeah. Ragamassoo like a mobster, ragamassoo like a mob. Yeah. I look good more in his face. Me in a more relaxed. I feel like that we are on two completely different pages. What do you mean? Do you what do you what? mean? Well, I'm liking everything that you're not liking. You're liking everything that I'm not liking. Kind of, yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. How weird. Because normally we, we, we're kind of like agree most of the time. So why aren't you liking the interesting beats? The, the, the beat is... <laughs> I, I think it's, it's different. I, no, I think the reason is because I'm, st I'm, st like, I'm still in Eternal Take. I'm still like, that album is still like what I'm listening to. It only came out a week ago. And the yeah. beats and everything on there was so like... Pfft. Yeah. So I think I think maybe if I hadn't heard that and I'd heard yeah. this first, I might have been fucking with it more. Oh, I see. Maybe it's okay. that. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Did you really hate that? No, I loved it. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> hey, I ain't got nothing from the pain. I really dug that. That was okay. I, I, was cool. I like the bounciness of it. I just like the... <laughs> that one yeah, that was the best Five bit. second second. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is called Come, Come This, this way. way. La Uzifer. What I spent on Wang could have sent my bitch to college. On Wang? Alexander Wang. Oh, Alexander Wang. I thought he said Wank for a second. Whoa. I mean, I think he said Wang. No, yeah, he definitely said Wang. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For you, she's going up. For me, she's going down. Yeah, going down. Slide down. What did he say? No, she... what did he say? Mm -hmm. For me, she's. For you, she's going up. For me, she's going down. <laughs> okay, this is called Trap This Way. Wait, what was the other one called? Come This Way. Yeah, and then oh, Trap, trap this, way. this Way, and then the This last... Way in brackets. And then there's that way on the turn on the take. Is that the last song? The with the Backstreet Boys. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, the bad one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the one bad song on the album. Can no nigga give me up my song? When I hit the stage, I'm an animal. No, I cannot stop, man. I'm in my mode. She gonna come this way. We got all the fun. Drop it this way. Diamonds on my arm. Yeah, my wrist straight. You know that. What? I'm so bored. Like I'm yeah, this bored song is boring. Out of my mind. I don't. This, do you know what? Do you know what's very. Do you know what's very strange? Do you know what actually is? No, actually, this is a good thing, actually. Mm. It's very, very distinct from a turn on the take. Right, okay, It's, like, yeah. very different. It's, 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 like, it's not like, you know, sometimes when rappers have, like, they have a deluxe uh, album and it's just, like, Lucy's from the album. It still yeah. sounds kind of like it might have yeah, made the album, yeah. but it wasn't good enough. Yeah. This just sounds like this was just recorded at a whole completely different time. Yeah. I mean, are these recorded after he did... I don't know because it's the world first. I I don't know because it's like Eternal Take has been recorded for the past like two years. Yeah. So two or three years. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there there hasn't been any other time. Yeah. Like this must have been made in that period. I'm just bored, but like, there's been two songs that I've I have actually like yeah. made me listen. The rest yeah. of it is so boring to me. Strange. Mm. I'm very confused. Mm. We got all the guns. Don't come this way. This one is called No, no Auto, Auto featuring, featuring Lil, Lil Dirk. Dirk. You are crazy. Oh, you scared, huh? Oh, you puss. Oh, you puss. Oh, you scared, huh? AD White is like a Wayne beat. Gotta watch that side block. Did you say this is like a Wayne beat? I don't, I don't know if he said that. Yes, he did. Oh, did he? You weren't listening. Wayne beat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he literally Wayne beat. 
trigger finger fast like Floyd will punch like AP. He used tune and that is dread. In the background. What is it? Like just like he's? I don't know. It kind of sounds a bit like um like an X Files type thing. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That clap go bang, but it ain't Keith. He got shot in the head. That clap, that clap go bang, but it ain't Keith. Because Chief Keith's ad lib is bang bang, bang bang, bang bang. <laughs> I knock a nigga down like I'm the same size as Davies. Oh, oh, you lit, huh? I knock a nigga down like I'm the same size as Dave East. How tall is Dave East? He's he's big. He's a big lad. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you scared her. Oh, you pussy. Okay. What's the next one? Next one is Money Spread with Young Nudie. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? <laughs> she said, Look, Uzi, please, can you eat me out? I said, No, I cannot. I can beat it out. Put it in and she's screaming, like, Take it out. What you gonna do? Yeah, huh? When it come for you? Yeah, huh? Who is Young Nudie? Huh? Who is Young Nudie? I haven't heard any of his solo stuff. I've heard his a couple of features. On uh, what? Uh, Revenge of the Dreamers 3 and the tune he did with Playboy Carti, which oh. is amazing. Oh, okay. Fuck your bitch right out the sole of her shoes. Yeah, that Billie Jean, Billie Jean. What? You hear that? Fuck, Fuck your bitch, bitch right, right at the, the sole, sole of her, her shoes. shoes. Whether you like it or not, not change too cool, but I'm hot, maybe cool. Hit from the back. Do you want to take a break? No, this, this beat is so shit. Like, actually. Like, like, yeah, this is the one of the worst Pierre beats I've P ever yeah, heard. Yeah, this is Pierre, so... I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. Are you disappointed? Yeah, I'm hella disappointed because the yeah. time I take was sick. I mean, yeah, we've always come to the end of this. Yeah. We've literally got two more after and this. One. I can't think of a song that I'm going to go back to. Yeah, I'm literally, there's only two that I'm going to go back to. Sad. I said, no, I cannot. I can beat it out. Put it in and she's screaming like, take it out. I'll just no I, mean, I don't like the hypocrisy here. What hypocrisy? That he's talking all the time about girls sucking him off. Yeah. But then one girl says, can you eat me out? And he's like, no. <laughs> That's just such, I would expect better from Uzi. Why? What had led you to believe that? Because he... he seems like a nice, cute guy. You don't know him. I, n I don't know him. <laughs> I'm getting to know him and I don't like it. <laughs> I got your beats over here. You're right, this beat is shit. I don't understand why. I've never heard a shit Pierre beat. Yeah. I've never heard a shit Pierre beat. Yeah. It's the first oh. time for everything. I mean, because he seems to be... He was trying out the spacey shit. Yeah. Because uh, that's obviously what Uzi wanted. And it's just not working, nah, is it? it's not no. working. Your hoe is a slut, hit her from a bad nigga in her guts. Yeah, slap it on the butt, a whole lot of white what stuff. What are you talking about? It's just, oh, it's, it's just, just pants. Like, it's just so shit. Like, it's stuff like this is really hard for me to listen to. But the funny thing is, like, when Thug talks about it, he's... No, but Thug isn't, doesn't... It's not... Yeah, but no, but Thug look. is disgusting. When men said Ben and Jerry's eat her ice cream... <laughs> How is that disgusting? Ben and Jerry's eat her ice cream. I'm going to eat her pooey bum hole. But at least he's doing something. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The way, Even though he's saying the same kind of topic, he's making it fun. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even that. But like the way, like there's a specific way that rappers uh, rap about women sometimes where it's like, I literally like can't even listen to it because it's so disrespectful. And this is really disrespectful. My issue is just that like, shit. <laughs> yeah, that too. I smoke big black, I smoke big black, bitch, I bitch that. Everybody know this like I got a big gun. Pull off a brick, spread it out. I remember. Is this I, the worst Uzi song we've ever heard? This is one of the worst <laughs> Uzi songs I've ever heard. There are not many bad Uzi songs. Like, the. the, the this is unlistenable. Like, I can't listen to The difference to it. between this and. If you listen to Lil Uzi vs. the World yeah. and listen to this, there's yeah. no connection whatsoever. There's yeah. not even. The smallest of comparisons with that issue. Why is... do they think that they should release this? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. The turn on the take was like amazing. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it's frustrating. I'd been a video like Fanny Bell, shoes on, shit like that. Yeah. You know, Miss Lowe. Okay. What's this? Got the guap uh, featuring I'm just thug. It's over. Featuring okay, thug featuring again. young thug. Come on, thug, bring it back. No, Mr. Lord, what you got to walk? I was well, Mr. Lord, what you got to walk? I don't know nothing. Who did got shot? All I know, I'm just bullying with my sound. Don't need no breaks, don't plan no stuff. I told Where is thug? It's cut. There's still half the song. Is left. he coming? Still got half the song. Take 
the top of the cool wearing cups. If you love me, then come eat my nuts. Hundred million on that, ain't no trust. If you love me, come eat my nuts. Are you gonna? Am I gonna? You do love him. Am I gonna? No. <laughs> Paris Fashion Week, shit ain't enough for me. I took the drip that you put up, never come back to the stage. Oh, come here, won't stop. You thought the his verse on the other song, the one with Gunner, you thought that was... I thought, I thought it was just okay. But it was way more, like, interesting than this. Yeah, but they're both, like, you know, you know, Young Thug is one of the best, but this is, this is neither of uh, his anywhere near what we know he can do. I like the first one. It was okay. I can't remember what it was called though. <laughs> it was called Strawberry Peel. Strawberry Peel, yeah. that was it. And as long as my hobby ain't when I stop. All right. The, uh, this is the last one. If it couldn't the... get any worse. I mean, we don't know. He might pull it out the bag. Nav has never pulled anything out of any bag <laughs> whatsoever. I've sat through like two Nav albums, always fucking features. I Did don't you understand. To the yeah. What the one where he's in the shadows? I don't even know what it's called. I, I, every feature. I don't understand how he keeps getting on people's albums. He was on Travis's album twice. He was on two Travis Scott albums. Yeah, that's crazy. And Young Thug's album. I don't understand it. Okay. It might be amazing. I don't know. I'm joking. Leaders featuring Nav. Featuring Nav. Can we do one thing? Made a cult following like Jim Jones. Who's Jim Jones? The leader of that fucking cult that I always forget the name of. Oh. But he does the same flow and everything. Yeah. Apart from negative sex, 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 <laughs> in my regular rack, 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 rack. Which has kind of grown on me because it's so stupid that I love to listen to it. You actually listen to it? I listen I to it because it's hilarious. It, but it gets in my head really. Regularly rack, 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 <laughs> in my negative sex, 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 sex. The brown way back, back, back. <laughs> I gotta play it safe. Shoot a mask on, can't trace no face. Got a good line, I got no case. Shoot him up. You genuinely look like you're gonna cry. It's just so, like, I don't. If Nav you was. You haven't liked a single song in this album. No, but this is like, if Nav was like, I don't know, if he was a. a if I went to a restaurant. Yeah. And like Nav was a me on the rest, at the restaurant, he'd be like pasta with no oil or sauce. Just pasta. I don't think a restaurant would serve that. Exactly. <laughs> Are you sad because the album's been? I'm just I'm rubbish. no I'm just I'm disappointed because mm. it, like it's just it's Eternal just weird Love Take was so good. It, it's yeah, so and it good. kind of undermines Eternal Love Take a bit because like that was last weekend and then he releases another one. I'm just gonna pretend but, like, this doesn't exist. Why? Yeah, I mean, there's no need to like re-listen to any of this. I'm never there? gonna listen to this again. Yeah. Like never. Yeah, it's so disappointing. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, where is his cult following? Nav. I've ne have you ever heard anyone? My favourite rapper is Nav. No, but I remember on Twitter when everyone was going on saying he's shit, and I remember some people came like came to his defence. Like, no, but you hard. always come to a defence, but like... Like, there's always going to be some fans. I remember hearing that he was shit, but yeah. obviously this was before I'd listened to it, so I was like, I don't care what anyone says. I mean, yeah, if, he, yeah. if it's good, it's good. And it is shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is, it's like when people told me Little Pump was shit. I'm like, let me go listen to Little Pump, and he's fucking fire, so... <laughs> That's the most entertaining thing on the album. But like, not in like a good way. Ass like a jeep and make her back it up. Beep beep. Do you know what Nav is like? Sorry. Do you know what Nav is like? What? You remember that episode of Rick and Morty where the simulation for Jerry's running at 5% and he turns on the radio and it's human music. Okay, yeah. And it's like what Alien's interpretation of human music is. Yeah. That's what Nav is. Okay, but maybe Uzi likes that because he, the, he's going for the whole um, alien shit. So, no. Maybe that's why he chose him. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yes, now we've got a good song. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to do the whole of Eternal the Take. Track one, Baby <laughs> Pluto. Okay, okay. okay. Right. All right. How, how is it so much better? I don't understand. Is this I mean, no compar? It's not even in the same universe. No, I don't understand. Maybe it. some purpose because double Uzi isn't as good. No, no, this Maybe was just made shit nah. Purpose. There's no excuse. This was just bad. Yeah, I'm sad to say so. Yeah, 
I'm very, very disappointed. And the amount of people who were like, you should react to the new deluxe. I blah, wanted blah, to blah, react like, to it. I was so excited, excited for this shit. Yeah, yeah. There was no reason not to be excited for it. But yeah. now, now I'm sad that we didn't get to react to the fucking J Electronica album. By this yeah. time, by the time this video comes out, I would have heard it. I bet it's amazing. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. You win some. some, you lose some. And we won with Eternal Take. We lost with this. Yeah. I'm going to... There's two... There's the two... Strawberry Peel and something... What was it? Moon... Moon... R- Re- retake? Relate? Moon Relate. Moon Relate. I'll probably listen to those two. I liked those two. But... That nah, is... Nah, nah, nothing else. Never. I've listened to every Uzu pro- project up to this point. Yeah. And that's by far my least favourite. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Okay, well, please explain to us. If you enjoyed that album, please tell us why, because we don't understand. I, want to, okay, I wanted to enjoy this yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We both did. Okay, so yeah, please let us know. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and dong the bell. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.